Good afternoon. Um, this morning, you focused, as I understand, on the scientifically proven positive effects of green in an urban environment. Cities are often an unfavorable living environment due to the presence of much of stressors like air pollution, traffic congestion, temperature extremes and limited space. Green spaces in the city, in particular in the form of larger green areas but also smaller patches of green, can mitigate these negative influences. In our policy, uh, we, have to, of, we have come to understand that biodiversity objectives are not met only when we only focus on restoring biodiversity in nature reserves. Nature is not limited to these areas or to the countryside. Restoration of nature and biodiversity is important for all sectors and the entirely, entirety of spatial planning, including urban areas and infrastructure. So nature is something we need in the cities for things like, um, sorry, um, <laughs> for things like um, uh, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my, Uh, tempering the heat, uh, healthy environment, and draining the rainwater. And also because of the inherent value of nature itself. In addition to the ecosystem services of basic nature and environmental quality. As a ministry, we aim at creating a more nature-inclusive society in economic domains like agriculture, but also in nature-inclusive cities. Cities in which nature is taken into account in all phases of spatial planning, in policy making, project development, but also the designing and the construction of buildings itself. This is challenging as, because of go as government organizations, we are not used in thinking on a nature-inclusive manner yet. And we are currently not enough, we have not currently enough policy in place already. Financial, financing green cities is also reoccurring bottleneck. Partly because we are not used to take added value of nature into account. This calls for different policy different interventions, especially in urban areas, there is multitude of issues at play and we need to learn to combine functions and challenges in the cities, such as finance interventions that are both beneficial for climate adaptation and biodiversity restoration, or combine healthy lifestyle policy with the promotion of more green and biodiversity dense places in urban areas. So some activities we are presently focusing on as a national government are the following, like drawing up standards and frameworks for what nature inclusiveness is. We are working on basic quality of nature guideline. Also working on integrated approach to various tasks, as I mentioned before, and combine budget with those ac act actions, such as housing, health, and climate change. And also exploring legal options for spatial planning and the market. We are supporting front runners like provinces or municipalities, but also builders, and connect the key figures, also with building up knowledge and, well, also make knowledge uh, stream eh, between parties. We see that developments follow each other at a rapid pace at the moment.